Hi guys, good morning. It's Rebecca. Thank you for joining me for today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a quick grid ready with me uh, before I go to work. So I have my bangs up because I'm going to be wearing my glasses and my bangs are too long and they kind of like hit the frame of the my glasses. Uh, if you couldn't tell, I am super sick. Feeling a lot better, but my voice is still kind of a little raspy. So I hope you guys can hear it. If not, when I edit it, I'll Put up the volume it's gonna be super super quick get ready with me just kind of basic how i do my makeup every day when i go to work it's gonna be very simple because spoiler i only have one eyeshadow left in my panda palette so um we're gonna we're gonna do that so i just want to talk to you guys really quick about uh, me officially going on a no buy i'm gonna start with my elf prep and hydrate balm which is in a project pen um but it seems like that's the trend lately <coughs> For people to be going on no buys and I am on a hop on that train because if you guys saw my last haul I have a lot of things that I've purchased and I need to like step back a little bit I have I have a lot of stuff my numbers for my inventory went up significantly because of that haul so I feel like I undid everything that I achieved well, I was in a no buy for eight months. I was on a no buy. Um, I started my no buy. Well, hold on. For my primer, I'm gonna mix a little bit of this Laura Mercier foundation primer and a little bit of this Mac stroke cream. I was in a no buy. I started my no buy last last November, um, for exactly right after the VIB sale, um, and I was on a no buy until I think it was July of this year, if I'm not mistaken. And I did really good. I redid an inventory and my numbers had gone down a lot. So I was very happy about that. But after I did this last haul, kind of everything went up again. So I just wanna I just wanna make sure that I get use out of everything that I just purchased and that I don't fall into that habit of just buying it and then putting it away while I pan a few things here and there. You know what I mean? So that is the plan and hopefully I can stick to it. I already started thinking up about what projects I'm gonna be doing for next year. And the way I'm gonna approach project panning next year is gonna be a lot different. I'm gonna use my foundation from Sephora. This is also in a project pan. Um, and especially when it comes to my my pan that palette because um, <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I take panning very, very seriously. <laughs> Maybe more seriously than I should. When I project pan, when I when I do project pans, I solely use the items that I picked. Like there's no, let me mix in with this other stuff, put other stuff on rotation. I have no stuff on rotation because everything that is in my project pan, that's like my everyday makeup drawer. That's one of the reasons why I don't do uh, makeup baskets, makeup favorites because I don't rotate through my stuff. I don't use use different things here and there. It's really hard for me to do those kinds of videos. And um, and I feel like most of my collection just goes unused. And I mean, yeah, I use a lot of stuff because I only focus on that those certain items, but a lot of my makeup collection goes unused. But anyway, um, like I was saying, yeah, a lot of my, my makeup goes unused and and I wanna make sure that I get some use out of it, especially all those eyeshadows that I that I purchased. So um, with me going on this no buy, like I said, my project pan is gonna, my project pans are gonna be a little bit different next year, um, just because I wanna, I wanna make sure that I use all of my, not, I mean, I can't use them up, but I can at least get some use out of them. Sorry, I'm using this Anastasia, what is this called? Concealer, and then this Ulta concealer in the color Fair Neutral, just to kind of light it up, lighten it up because it's a little dark. Um, I forgot what I was saying, but I went ahead and I already picked up my Panda palette for next year because like I said, I only have one shade left. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to finish it and I am excited to get started and share with you guys why I picked that palette, my thought process, and what I wanna do. So the fact that I wanna approach next year um, my project pans differently and 
the fact that I want to incorporate my other eyeshadow palettes I think it's gonna help me in the long run because I want to make sure that that I rotate through my through my um, what do you call it through my eyeshadow palette so uh, spoilers for next not next update but um, what do you call it maybe for my Panda palette intro uh, I am planning on doing one month one palette next year um, just because I want to rotate through all those eyeshadow palettes that I that I purchased um, I thought about doing maybe one palette every two weeks but I feel like that's not enough time to um, to use a palette and I feel like if I use it for the whole month um, it's gonna be I'm only gonna use 12 palettes so I thought of calling it one month one palette but I'm really gonna be using it for about three weeks so spoilers for um, some of the videos that you guys will be seeing from me next year so that way I can because I have so many eyeshadow palettes and I'm like oh they're so pretty oh they're so pretty but I like I don't I haven't used them so I don't even know if I truly like them or not and if it's something that I don't like or it doesn't work for me then I can just get rid of it even though I don't believe in decluttering maybe I, I can just like figure out what I like and see if I truly truly like it instead of just collecting and hoarding stuff that's I feel mediocre about so uh, I'm gonna for my eyes. Sorry under my eyes. I am baking with my NYC smooth skin loose face powder for using this I'm gonna use an eyeshadow primer. This is the Smashbox 24-hour photo finish primer uh, I was using an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I finished it finally it took me all year to finish that deluxe eye sample so and I think I think this is a new uh, a full size So it's gonna take me forever to finish this one. I'm going to back on to my whole no buy thing i'm not going on a no buy particularly just because i have a lot of stuff and i want to get used out of it but it's more of a financial thing i have been just you know technology you can save all your credit card information on the websites on the apps and it's so easy to just go ahead and just pick what you want you don't even get the card and everything saved on the, on, on the inform on the website on the app and you just click click you know, I want this, I want that, what I want that, and pay with the credit card saved on file, and that's it. And you purchase and you purchase, well, I purchase and I purchase, and I don't even realize how much I'm spending because I don't feel it. You know, I just pay a certain amount of money to the credit card at the end of the month, but it's not as much as I'm spending, so slowly and surely, my balance has been going up, and last time when I checked last month, I was like, are you kidding me? I have spent all this money on basically pretty much makeup um i have other things that are on like automatic payments like my gym membership is on, on that card my cell phone is paid on that card there's transactions that they're automatically done every month so whatever i'm paying i'm basically just paying off those accounts like my gym and my phone i'm not really paying off the things I'm adding on to that those charges, you know what I mean? Like all those Ulta and Sephora purchases. So needless to say, my balance is pretty significant. I had never had a balance up that high and I'm feeling overwhelmed. Um, I, don't, I don't like being in debt, like gives me anxiety. So the fact that I have that large balance is giving me anxiety. My reasoning for going on a no buy is more for financial reasons other than for like wanting to control my inventory it sounds bad but like i don't feel guilty about what i have <laughs> maybe i should i don't know i'm gonna be using my divergent eyeshadow i have one shadow left here so it's in luminous taupe <clears throat> and i'm just gonna pat it onto the cream shadow from tarte that i just applied but yeah like i said it's more of a financial reasoning why i'm doing um, there's no buy more than anything else so hopefully what time is it okay I have time hopefully I can be a little bit more cautious and I think that's why I also want to approach project panning differently because um, like I said I when I project pan I really commit to those items and I really don't rotate through my other stuff so my plan for rotating through my makeup collection while I want to know by I think that's gonna help me because I'm gonna be using new stuff all the time and that's gonna make me feel like 
like I'm using stuff that I just purchased. You know what I mean? Like psychologically, <laughs> that's gonna help me feel like, like, oh, I just, I'm using a new eyeshadow palette this month. Uh, it's like I'm, I just purchased it and, and I can just use it. I'm hoping that's how things will go. We will have to see. Hopefully that, that'll do the trick. I'm using my bronzer here um, as an eyeshadow, like as a crease shade, kind of to soften the edges. Yeah, guys, what do you think? You think that'll work? I really hope it does work because I need to do something about not finishing up or using up all my items, but I really need to get my spending in check. Um, you guys know I like to travel. Um, there's just no way for me to start traveling right now because I owe so much and I would feel um, very, very anxious about, well, not anxious, but guilty about spending money on a trip knowing I owe like all this money elsewhere. I mean, I'm not saying that I wanna be debt free um, by the next time I go on a trip, but for sure, significantly, I would like to owe less, you know? Uh, I'm using my L, my Sephora glitter green liquid liner. This thing's like on its last, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, like, it's very, very light, you can't even see it. Um, so I have to go over it several times and then it kind of picks up the previous layer oh, kind of a little okay my eyeliner is done now i'm going to curl my eyelashes remember i my eyelash broker my eyelash broker my eyelash curler broke um and i showed it in my last empties and i haven't purchased another one i've just been using this um spoon as my eyelash curler, my mom makes fun of me. She's like, that's what we used to use when we were poor and we couldn't afford <laughs> an eyelash curler. And I'm like, well, mother, it works fine. I will purchase an eyelash curler eventually. Just, I don't feel like I need to right now because this works just fine. And I have been using this little um, sample from L'Oreal, the Luminous lash primer it works okay just a pretty basic primer and then a little sample of the benefit the real mascara this is kind of like drying out already it's really on its last leg you probably you guys you guys will probably see this in this month's empties video which kind of sucks because i just started using using it um this month and i feel like this mascara dried out really fast um i haven't used this in a long time so i can't remember if it's usually like if it dries out this fast or if it's because i've had it for a long time you know in my backup drawer and even though it wasn't open it's probably up there in age you know kind of sort of uh, i'll do another layer in a little bit i have something in my eye oh it's an eyelash Whew tiny lash so those are my eyes let me do my eyebrows I have a pretty good brow but um, I like to darken them a little so that's why I do my eyebrows um, I think I could totally get away without doing my brows but I don't know I like them to be a little bit darker see it's just slightly darker than than my natural shape i don't go like too dramatic with it um, but i do like it to, like them for them like it for them to be a little bit darker and i don't think i said i'm using this pomade from tarte in the color medium brown does it look even kind of sort of okay so those are my brows and then last but not least this it cosmetics live love laugh vitality face disc I have my blush in here and my highlighter. This blush is super pigmented and I always go overboard <laughs> with it. So then I have to correct it with some face powder. And it's not even like a real face powder. It's this powder foundation from Urban Decay, uh, which I hit pan already on. Look, so um, kind of use it to 
set all over my face. So that's that. And then I have the highlighter in this little same face palette and I'm using a fan brush. I have not discovered, but like ever since I started using this blush, I started using a fan brush to apply my highlighter and I really like it. And it's a cheapy one, it's from e.l.f. And I think it does the job pretty well. My last step is my all-nighter spray from Urban Decay. This powder is on its last leg, so you guys might see it in an empties video pretty, pretty soon. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. That is how I've been looking like recently just to go to work. Uh, pretty quick, fast, and easy makeup look um, for my lips. It's in my purse, so I don't have it with me, but I'm using my lip crayon thing from Ulta that's in my Movie Madness Project Pen. So there you go, guys. I am officially on a no-buy and now the internet knows it. <laughs> so um, I've been trying to stay away from like the Friday, the Black Friday deals. And then also Sephora just sent uh, another coupon for 20% off. And I am not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I did go to the website and see what I could purchase with the 20% off, but there was really nothing that really sparked my interest. So I was like, oh, thank God because that means I'm not gonna be tempted by anything. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick get ready with me and wish me luck. I Last month, last year, I did a no buy for eight months. I think I can go longer this year, second time's a charm. So we're gonna call this my no buy 2.0. We'll just go with that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.